Have you ever wondered what are the important topics in Azure or what you should learn in Azure to be a good .NET developer? If so, then you are at the right video. My name is Brugain and welcome to .NET Mastery. If you have not subscribed to the channel, make sure to do that before you proceed. That way you will always be notified when I release a new video. Now back to the main topic. Azure is a monster with number of services there and when you are getting started, that could be intimidating. So what are the most important topics you should be aware of in Azure as a .NET developer? The first and foremost is the app services. Typically in the old days, we used to copy all the files, DLLs and manage all the deployments manually on the server. With Azure App Service, Deployment is seamlessly integrated within the Visual Studio and it is super simple. You can deploy the application and be up and running in less than 5 minutes. But then with any application there is a database. And with Azure we do not have to worry about managing a SQL Server, deploying or worrying about the backups. Azure makes life super simple with SQL Database, SQL Servers, backing them up restoring them along with all the security settings. Then typically applications will also have files that they have to manage and sometimes keeping everything in app service is not the best approach. Azure has a solution. Storage accounts in Azure is a Microsoft managed service that provides cloud storage and it works seamlessly with the coding when you have to add a file there, delete a file, or do some operation using programming. Then we have Azure function and they are indeed a blessing. Many times you want a functionality that would be triggered when you hit some endpoint or maybe a job that you have to run every day on a schedule. Azure function is a perfect way to get it done in an efficient manner without creating a virtual machine or deploying an application. Azure function is a serverless solution that allows you to reduce the coding and reduce infrastructure while saving on the cost at the same time. After Azure function we have logic apps and they are kind of similar to Azure function in ways that there are triggers that will invoke a logic app and an Azure function but with logic app you do not have to write code. They can be built without writing a single line of code. They are more like drag and drop and you build a flow. But because of that it can be less flexible when you compare that to an Azure function since in Azure function you can write all the code yourself. One example of a logic app can be let's say your organization has all the customer details in Salesforce and when they create a new customer in Salesforce you want to be notified and maybe create a record in your SQL database. You can do that easily with Logic App because of all the connectors that are built in inside the Logic App. They have connectors for many functionalities like even if you are storing something in the storage account, when a file is uploaded or deleted, they have triggers for all of those endpoints. Next we have caching. Caching is critical in an application to reduce multiple database calls and Azure Cache for Redis is a fully managed memory cache built on the Redis software. It is capable of handling millions of requests per second and the best part is that it is fully managed by Microsoft. Then we have App Configuration in Azure which provides service to centrally manage the application settings of your application and something called as feature flags. Feature flags are great when you want to release new software only to internal users first and then toggle a switch to enable it for all the customers and much more. Using them we can manage the feature availability in real time. Last but not the least is Azure DevOps. Now Azure DevOps is a monster by itself. It has multiple features within itself and it is one of the most important topic as well when you are learning Azure. 
Now Azure DevOps is not completely related to development task, but it is the complete CI CD pipeline. Using Azure DevOps, we can use the Git within DevOps. That way we can have all the code of our application in DevOps itself. Next, it has ticket management built in, so you can manage sprints, tasks, user stories, bugs and everything in one place and business can view everything like all the things that are going in a release, what are all the bugs that are open and much more. Finally, using Azure DevOps, you can easily build a CI CD pipeline to automate your deployments, making your life super simple. You can automate them for multiple environments like dev, staging and preview. They can be all automated. As soon as you check in a code, it will automatically build the pipeline and deploy the code on the app service. So these are the top services that I would recommend to any .NET developer that is getting started to learn Azure. If you found the video useful, make sure to like the video and leave a comment. I have detailed courses on all of these topics which I have linked in the comments. I hope to see you guys in some other video. Till then happy coding.